Welcome to week 14 of my Mallorca training vlog. If you were watching last week, you'll know that I rode the Isle of Wight Randonnée, which was 110 kilometers around the island on a very hilly course. So that means that this week has been all about my recovery from that. So what that's meant in real terms is that I took Monday off. So normally I have a spinning session down at the gym. Uh, so I decided not to go to that just to give my legs a bit of a rest. But I still turned up for my spinning on a Tuesday evening. My Tuesday spinning sessions are all about heart rate and that particular evening we were due to do some strength training which meant riding at about 85% of our maximum. Unfortunately, try as I might, I just could not get my heart rate up that high and I was struggling to do about 75% of my maximum. Uh, my legs felt all tired and heavy and this just confirmed that I hadn't quite recovered from Sunday's ride. And as I'm always saying, your last ride is only as good as your recovery from it. And then midweek I did a couple of rides. Uh, the first one was down to Hailing Island, so that was a very gentle 40 kilometers on a fairly flat route. Uh, I kept my heart rate around 75% of my maximum and that worked really well. Uh, I got home and felt really good, which uh, suggests that I am getting a bit stronger and a bit fitter. And then uh, the weekend I went out with a couple of my cycling chums and did a slightly more challenging uh, hilly route. Uh, and that, that was a bit tough, I did feel that, 52 kilometers, fairly undulating. Uh, and then Sunday I thought I'd better go out and do a proper recovery ride. So less than 20 kilometers, spinning very light gears, keeping my heart rate as low as possible. Uh, and the aim of this was to just flush out any remaining lactic acid in my legs and aid my recovery. So having now hit one of my intermediate training goals, this is an excellent opportunity to sit down and just have a look at where I am in relation to my long-term training goal of the Mallorca trip itself. So as I speak, I've got exactly 19 weeks before we fly out. Uh, and if I was to honestly make an assessment of where I am fitness-wise at the moment, I would say I'm about halfway there. Yes, I know without doubt I can ride 110 kilometers. I proved that conclusively uh, on the Isle of Wight. But unfortunately, I was very tired going round. So I do need to do a bit more work. Uh, I need to get stronger and perhaps a bit faster. Now, the way I'm going to do that is just go out and do longer rides. I think by now, my minimum training ride should be at least 50 kilometers, uh, preferably closer to about 70, 75 kilometers. Uh, and I don't have to go out and do these particularly fast. Uh, I'm, I'm out now to kind of do the distance. And then slowly over the 19 weeks that I have remaining, I will increase the speed. I'll increase the distance up to about 110 kilometers. Uh, and then I'll also increase the intensity and the terrain. So fingers crossed, all will be well when I get to Mallorca in late September. So are you training for a particular event? If you are, please let me know all about it in the comments below. If you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching. Thank you.